All right, we're now joined here by a little bit of a white whale we've been chasing for about a year and a half on this podcast. Uh, one of your fan favorites, uh, relief pitcher number 48, Tommy Canley. Tommy, how's it going, man? Good, man. Doing great, you know, just hanging out here. Great what stuff. Has, uh, what has quarantine life been, been like for you? How close is your wife to just being driven insane by you being around all the time? <laughs> uh, so for me, I think it's been great. I mean, this is perfect for me. All I got to do is play video games, watch TV, stay inside. The only time I ever leave is to go throw outside or something. That's about it. But, yeah, I feel like she's ready to just probably choke me by now with all the video games I've been playing. <laughs> uh, but, uh, what kind of video games do you play? Uh, I've been playing a lot of Madden lately, and uh, I have dabbled into uh, – the show a little bit but uh, i'm pretty i'm pretty fucking terrible at that you use yourself in the show i did once and it was pretty cool i couldn't throw a strike though <laughs> <laughs> you're pretty, pretty nasty in the show <laughs> you're, you're easily my favorite guy i use you over chapman your change up is pretty unhittable in the show i don't i don't know if you know that already i was but. yeah eventually i got to a point where i was literally just throwing a change up every time i was like <laughs> i can't even throw a fastball for a strike it's miserable <laughs> well that's like the same as you're doing like the live bp talking was saying he faced you in live VP and he just gets like five changeups in a row from you. So yeah, yeah, I did, I did fuck with him with that. Guy. <laughs> but uh, other ones like COD, I play a lot of COD with Britt, so we're on there murdering a lot of people. It's fun. <laughs> You're playing Warzone with Britt. Uh, so we not the Warzone, the other one, like the I think it's Blood and Money now. It was Plunder yeah. at first, yeah. For some reason, last night I had a game. I had like 24 kills, going fucking <laughs> ape shit. <laughs> <laughs> are you the best, of the night. best Call of Duty player on the team, or is there someone that gives you a run for your money? Let me see. Currently, I would say probably yes now. Before, it used to be uh, Tarp was pretty good. Tarpley? Okay. Yeah, he was pretty legit. But uh, we have uh, one of our, like, assistant clubbies. He's, he's fucking nasty. It's gross. <laughs> I've never seen a player like it in my life. Not going to lie. That's insane. <laughs> um, have you ever thought of doing, like, a Twitch stream, like – doing it no, I, yeah i do have it i uh basically like stream every night people Publicly? just don't realize it oh yeah <laughs> people just don't realize it. <laughs> they have no idea well you don't, <laughs> you don't have like any social media right like exactly what, so what's like your, I, what's your, like i feel like you're an outgoing guy in person like why do you not do the twitter instagram and all that i don't know just uh, i guess i'm a rebel want to be the rebel guy okay. <laughs> just rebel <laughs> against it <laughs> i feel like you would be probably like top five mlb twitters if like you let it loose yeah, there's another thing. It's like, I don't want to get one just in case. Like, Probably ever... a good idea. Yeah, it's probably a good idea that I don't have anything. <laughs> so, you're, so wait, are you uh, willing to release where your Twitch name is? Or are you keeping that a secret? No, no I'll, I'll let you guys know. I actually changed it recently so people could probably find me better. It's just TCon48. That's it. Huh. Very interesting. Might have to I play think... you in the show one of these days if, we're, if this course. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm about to be in some crazy 30 30- – person league coming up here shortly and i'm gonna be trash for mlb the show yeah they they want to pick a guy from each team and have them do like a 29 game season and then play playoffs i'm gonna be trash oh so it's like a thing through like mlb yeah so I'm, i was selected to do like for the yankees and i'm gonna be at least i got their i got the offense that's good i'll yeah. take that i got garrett cole works you might get screwed, though, because if they do live rosters, you don't have Judge or Stanton, so that kind of sucks. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, I, I was looking at it. I'm like, I'm going to get killed. If I have to play, like, Snell, that guy loves that game. <laughs> yeah, there's a few of them who just live on that stuff. Yeah, um, like, I can't play that. Yeah, besides, like, video games, um, I imagine you're a big TV show movie guy. What have you been binging on? Uh, so, me and my wife, we were catching up on uh, – I really like to watch those, like, uh, Arrowverse shows on uh, CW – we watched that. We caught up on shit, Modern Family, uh, like all the comedy shows, Single Parents, Superstore, shit. I, a lot of Netflix shows. I don't watch Ozark or anything, so everybody's been freaking out about this. I have no idea what it's about. I just started it. It's it's very confusing, and it's there's a lot. You got to pay attention. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big Jason Bateman guy, but I only like to watch them in comedy movies. I refuse to watch them in the serious. Exactly. Role. Yeah, like I, I'd rather watch them in a in a comedy. He's hilarious. Yeah. Give me yeah. identity thief for fucking. <laughs> yeah, that's, that shit was great. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm exactly. in a bad spot. I just watched 120 episodes of Gossip Girl in two weeks. So. Oh I, gosh, I my wife. <laughs> my wife would love that if I did that for her. It it's it wasn't that. I just watched it for Blake Lively, and then it ended up just being like, <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna watch this show at this point. I'm stuck. Oh shit! Yeah, um, I think 
there is one reason. I probably watch it for that one actor. I don't, the guy that plays, uh, I can never remember his name. The guy that plays Winter Soldier in all oh, the Marvel yeah, movies. Oh, yeah, Sebastian Stan. Sebastian yeah. Stan. He was in it, and I thought it was a mistake. I'm like, wait, yeah. what's going on here? Did you see the show You on Netflix? Uh, so I was going to watch it until my wife kind of – she so she watched the first season. She got into the second season. She said there was a part where it just scarred her, and she shut it down. It, yeah, I think it was like the meat grinder or something she was talking about. It goes so off the rails. It's like, I'm yeah. not even watching like, the show. This is just – someone, like, is differently – someone's writing the show who just wasn't a part of the team in season one, it's like – I don't, exactly. I don't even know how people come up with that shit like all right we gotta yeah. relax here i think they might be actual serial killers like writing the show <laughs> yeah like come on what, what are we doing <laughs> we gotta watch out for those people just writing this crazy shit yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't know what guys, what's going on you guys watch the movie 1917 not yet i want to see that how was that it was great but i don't think anything happened what <laughs> i think it was two hours and 20 minutes of just fucking walking <laughs> oh shit from what i heard everybody's been loving it that's what i'm saying i'm also a moron so i might have missed a couple <laughs> things. i'm not sure if anything actually happens so if you watch it let me know <laughs> yeah i'm definitely gonna watch that soon here i gotta watch that so you're a, yeah. you're a huge marvel guy and a comic book guy right yeah big pretty big time yep so um what who would who is your oh, favorite shit. um marvel marvel character uh, i got two so I, I'm big in uh, Captain America and Deadpool. Okay. Yeah. Pretty, pretty solid. Those are, yeah, those are my two favorites. I uh, try to keep track of what goes on with them a lot. I feel Where like they're the polar opposites. Like Captain America. They are. Like, <laughs> they really are. And both the Deadpool, like, could not be more different. Yeah. It's like Jekyll and Hyde, man. It's, uh, that's why yeah. I like to give people my personality right there. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> so where were you um during the season when uh endgame came out were you guys oh uh, shit where were we uh so i didn't actually see it i usually go every thursday night to go see those movies and it just happened i wasn't there or we we were somewhere i don't know me and my wife couldn't watch it i ended up seeing it, i think a week later in san fran i think is where we were what went to that overall thoughts where were that ranking like, i loved it movies uh i gotta put it number one Okay. Yeah. Out of the Marvel movies, uh, all time, I, I for some reason, I, Star Wars are my favorite movies. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Even like the new ones. Not, that, like, not the eh, not the newest ones. The only one I liked, <laughs> the new one was Rogue One. Like that one. That one. That one was sick. One, That's what I've been telling people. It's yeah. The, it's the best. I fell in love with the the main actress in that, and ended up just watching all of her shitty movies she's done in her career before that. <laughs> oh, shit. She's in some like like a ski lift movie that probably made a hundred dollars. What about stalker behavior? <laughs> right. This is yeah, why this, you, you don't live right life right. You just no. do weird shit like that. There's no reason to watch her movies. This is yeah. I did <laughs> Blake Lively too. This is this is how I ended up on Gossip Girl. I watched every oh, Blake Lively movie this break, and then I, now I'm on God. Well, I finished Gossip Girl. I don't think I have anything left with, with Blake Lively. I got to move on to somebody else. Yeah, you got to find you got to find something favorite. new. What are we doing here? Yeah. <laughs> you like the movies? Do you like the? Are you a comic book reader too? Do you get the? Actual? Um. So I don't have like I only have probably like five or six actual comic books, but I have a bunch of graphic novels. So they like dive into like, basically, I actually have them over there on my desk. Of course. That's pretty cool. I mean, uh, I can grab them for you. <laughs> if Why you, not? Yeah, if you, um, Here, let me pop over. What's up? You guys still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. Yeah. Um, uh, are you going to grab them? Yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah let's see them. Bro, I couldn't find the book if I had one. That's an awesome chair. Is that Avengers chair? Yeah, that Avengers chair is so fire. I love that. (laughs) You just wanted to show off the chair. That's why you got up. Oh, that's awesome. (laughs) Yeah, there's a shit ton of them. You guys listening, so Tommy's holding up some Deadpool comics. Black Black Panther. Panther. What do we got? Avengers vs. X-Men. Very cool. Eternals, got to read up on them. Yeah, that's coming out eventually. Yeah. Who knows and when? But yeah. War Two, I got all kinds of shit, man. I think I got like ten more of these somewhere hidden away. That's awesome. Oh, I appreciate read that. Read anything? So that's what I'm gonna read. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> You're not like a book guy. You can't read. Yeah, I can't read focus over. that long. My wife always tells me try to read. I'm like, nah. See, I'm that's like my three God. pages, and I'm over it. There's no <laughs> reason to read that many pages. No reason. Hey, I don't know how people do it. Like, you gotta be locked in. We moved on. We made movies. Like we had books for before movies were invented, and then we just exactly. up to the medium. We got better. 
Right. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I say. If you could, uh, what we've been harping on the Marvel thing a little bit, but if you could uh, pick one superpower, what would it be? Uh, fuck. I think I always say I, re- I want to fly. I think that's sick. That right. or or regeneration. You have to be an asshole to pick anything else but flying. Like, the only strike. other one is the regeneration. That's that's the thing. Yeah, that's yeah, true. That that's pretty sick. <laughs> what do you think would help you most on the mound? What do you got? What do you think would help you most on the mound? Like flying's not gonna do shit for you as a yeah, pitcher. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Huh? Shit. It's gotta be super strength, man. I mean, it has so, to be strength. Yeah. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. I will say though, if you flew out to the mound, that's like fuck. Like, I mean, like, yeah. well, Chapman's got the flames and all that, but if Tommy's flying out to the mound, I mean, what are we doing here? Also, you could yeah, just right? watch, like, any deep fly balls just take off in flight. Maybe that is the answer. That might be yeah, it. Right? You would never give up a home run. That's not bad. Fly, that's, fly. that's a good answer. See? You fucking jump up, fly, catch that ball, bring it back. You're good. <laughs> uh, switching gears here a little bit. So, quarantine life. We're all – all our like eating schedules and sleeping schedules are so off. I don't know if yours are, but what's your like go-to late night dessert at like one in the morning these days? I don't even eat late to be honest. <laughs> yeah. So like I cut it off probably around, I'd say eight, eight thirty is the latest I'll eat something, but it's, it's ice cream. hundred percent. Okay. Like I get like those little pints of ice cream smash gone. See ya. Smash. Okay. What flavor? Uh, usually birthday cake. That's my shit. It's got I like, add, like a lot of caramel <laughs> stuff. I'm not a big chocolate guy. I, I'm not, not a big dark chocolate guy. I, I don't like. I don't fuck with dark chocolate. But I'll take like chocolate chips and stuff for sure. I'll take that. Yeah, people people think I'm weird when I tell them I don't like chocolate. But I love for some reason I love candy. So I like I'll eat a Snickers bar. No, like that's chocolate, but I don't know. It's different. It tastes different. I think like nuts in there and caramel. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it was Adavino who said recently that you'll just go through a whole bag of gummy worms like out in the pen. Oh, I, yeah. It, was, it used to be terrible. Like, I was bad. Back, uh, probably, shit, since 2016, I finally, like, kicked that. I used to eat, literally, like, two-pound bag of Sour Patch Kids, just smashing it during the game. I I was obsessed. I mean, I, I went today to Target, like, for one of the times to get out of the house and go get food and stuff. And I must have bought – Shit, five, six bags of Sour Patch Kids, gummy worms. Uh, I don't even know what else. Snacks, everything. I stacked up for the next, like, three weeks, so I never have to leave the house. So you're going to finish that by the end of the weekend, right? Hopefully not. <laughs> um, Hopefully not. So who is the cook in the house these days? Are you cooking yourself, or is your wife handling that? Oh, uh, she, she, does, she does the dinner stuff. So, like, I'll, I'll fend for myself for breakfast and lunch, but she's got me, she's got me for dinner. She's good. What, what's the best thing yeah. she makes? Oh, shit. I don't even know, to be honest. Everything. <laughs> the, only thing the only thing I ever cook at night is usually, like, burgers, and that's about it. Okay, fair enough. We, if uh, we're having, like, burgers, I'll cook it on the grill. That's about it. But she does, like, the steak, the chicken, all that. Pretty solid. Uh, you it's talked about – oh, sorry. What were you no, talking? you go. Yeah, yeah, you go. You're good. Um, you were saying about like your old diet of like going through like crazy things. You had this crazy Red Bull coffee thing. Talk about that for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, for a, for a good while, man, I was just because I think I had like a really good outing after I had like three Red Bulls in one day. It probably just made me super locked in. I had no idea. So there, I was like, "Fuck, I got to do this every game." Next thing you know, I'm doing three every game for like months next thing a year goes by next year i'm up to like four this is probably 2016 probably drinking like three or four a day then 17 came and i was upwards of six just getting insane i don't <laughs> and that was the year i felt like i was so locked in i, I don't know it was outrageous <laughs> oh my and then God. in 18 i kept doing the same thing i was like oh i gotta do the same thing it'll work nah went right nah. downhill <laughs> <laughs> so when you bring that over to the Yankees, is that everyone like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, but at first, I mean, at first people were just kind of like, what the fuck, this guy. You do it relax like, a little bit. <laughs> I did know like a few guys before, like coming back. So like they kind of gave him a heads up like, hey, this guy's pretty fucking nuts. But like, it's it, eventually everybody come to love it. And then it's just, that's how it is. You know, See, no, I, <laughs> I don't, you have to do what works. Like what I... I always mention that I played in college. I jerked off once before a game. 
I went 0 for 8 for a double header. I'll never jerk off again doing baseball. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, well, there's a lot, of super, had, uh, a lot of superstition in, in baseball. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous. Well, well, we tried the playoff thing with your McGriddle. Remember that? That, that yeah. ended up – you got in a bad oh. spot with those. Tommy was, wow. eating, was wearing bird shit. Yeah, I got shit on by a bird before, like, game one of the ALDS this year when you guys beat the Twins. Then, you know, sweep the Twins, get the Astros. I was wearing a, a shirt with bird shit on it for, like, two straight weeks. I would have done the same thing. Fuck it. Yeah. I was, if you guys won the World Series, I was ready to send that shit to Cooperstown. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah, we had to. I do the same shit for the Eagles. Like, if, uh, if, they, uh, if they lose, I won't wear a fucking single thing the rest of the week till Sunday. Or yeah. if they win, I won't, I won't wash basically anything I wore the week before. Yeah. Out of control. You got to do that. So, would Eagles be your number one fandom? Yeah, 100%. You got some oh, weird yeah. shit, though. What? Experience? Oh, yeah. What is what, – you're a Magic fan? You're a <laughs> fan? What, do you, what is that? So, uh, growing up, uh, the Eagles – I probably started liking them when I was, like, four years old. I remember watching just an Eagles-Jets game, of course, like, sitting in front of the TV with my pops. Next thing you know, I was like, oh, my favorite color is green, but I like the Eagles helmet because it was sick. So, I was like, that, that's what I'm going with. Next thing you know, I like Randall Cunningham, and then it just – Spiral from there. Orlando, it's because of uh, Penny Hardaway. Uh, just love the guy. Couldn't couldn't get enough. And uh, who else? I, I like Carolina basketball. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh. People are gonna hate. <laughs> you throw up. This Marty is a great. This is a great year for them not to have a tournament. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Huge. laughs> I uh, the reason I like them was Antoine Jameson. Not even, not even Michael Jordan, just Antoine James. I respect that. I respect yeah. Antoine Jameson. If you said Michael Jordan, it's like no, not not even that. That's the, yeah. And then people hate when I say I'm a Notre Dame football fan as well. Oh. That I got from that I got from my pops. I can't okay. help that one. Yeah, that, that that's a different story. But and uh, hockey, and then do you care about hockey, hockey? Sabers? Yeah, big Sabers fan. You are so all over the place. Oh, that's the only New York team I like. That's it. Fair enough. I'm a, oh, I get shit because I'm a Yankee Packer York. fan. <laughs> just like people give me shit all the time. But like you're on another planet with that. But you have good, pretty good reasons, I feel like. I didn't expect those reasons. I expect. Oh, yeah. Reasons. I have like certain there's, – there's a reason – there's always a reason that there's something I got going on here. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, you uh, you like to mess with a lot of people, as, as everyone saw with uh, the behind-the-scenes videos, which were so good. And hopefully we can continue those as the season progresses and all that. But – Everyone was kind of demanding for the Tommy Canley one, and the yeah. moment we got it, it was it did it did not disappoint. Who would you say is your favorite person to fuck with? Oh man, it's got to be Britt. I'd say Britt or Chad. I can't. I don't know if I can pinpoint one, but okay, because I <laughs> they're they're totally different. Like Chad's really quiet, doesn't like to like kind of be outspoken ever. And Britt Britt will be like come at you with something back. It's it's pretty fun, like going after with those two. Do you have a favorite prank or, like, something that you've ever pulled on a teammate? I don't think – I've never really pulled any pranks. They do They do that shit to me all the time. That's the thing. All right. uh, what, what's I'm the, the one that gets all the stuff that <laughs> fucking happens to. But, like, every – I'll say, like, every every game. So, I, I usually go down, like, an inning or two before Britton and Ottavino. So, every time I go in, I'll get, like, a cup of seeds and I'll put it up on the door. So, like, when they open the door, it just – just jumps all over him. I try to do that every game. Never works. <laughs> um, are, have you been the victim of a Brett Gardner prank? Oh, yeah. All the time. He he loves doing it to me. What, what, loves what, 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 what are Uh, So, one of them was uh, – what year was it? It was in 18 in camp, spring camp. Uh, he told – literally, the, the first day Russell showed up, he goes up to him and tells him, hey, that guy, you got you to gotta do something by the time you leave here. So what he ended up doing was, so last day Russ was there. I come in, he's always there. He was there super early every day. So I came in, come in my locker. All my Eagles jerseys were gone, gone. See, I didn't know where they were. My helmet was like kind of like this. So this is the year after the Eagles won the Super Bowl. So like the helmet's up on the thing. I get closer. I look at it. It looks like it's signed by Russ. So I'm like pissed. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy just signed my Eagles helmet. (laughs) And I was just like, this guy, be kidding me. Next thing you know, I kind of looked again. It was early, so I was like, oh, still tired and shit, couldn't see. Next thing you know, I look, I'm like, oh, that's Kate. I'm a fucker. And he, <laughs> so I ripped it off. I was like, this guy. <laughs> and then next thing you know, there's a there's a jersey of Russ just hanging in there. And it's like, hope uh, he's like, don't need these Eagles jerseys anymore. 
hope uh, hope this one's good for you. Go Hawks. They signed that, and it was – but basically he, like, hit him somewhere and put that – pulled a prank on me and everything. But it was all because of Guardy. Of That's course. an elaborate plan right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Guardy, I, Guardy probably had to do the whole thing, too. Everyone like, came up with the whole so thing. Far, everyone, every single player we've talked to, we're like, have you ever been a victim of a Guardian prank? We're like, no, but Tommy every single time. So, Oh, yeah, it's always me. I think, like, at least – it's got to be at least 10 by now. <laughs> Without a doubt. That's and there's, I bet you there's some I don't even realize that he does. <laughs> not a doubt. <laughs> he's probably like so mad. He's like, how did he not realize what just happened? You just keep going on with your day. Um, he, like, he likes to get everybody with the, uh, the salt in the drinks. It's the worst. Know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes he won't even put it in there, but he'll, like, sprinkle it all around the drink like, it, like he did put it in. He's the worst. <laughs> um, I have a feeling that <laughs> – I have a feeling that Mike Harkey has gotten you a few times with the whole bullpen thing where tell, it's like faking that you're going in. Oh, he, uh, he's got me at quite a few times. I know he always does it to everybody the first time you're there. Okay. Like he does it to a rookie every time. Mm-hmm. The first, first game they're there, gets them up, and they get all freaked out, and he's like, sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> but he, got, he does get like if uh, – if you kind of mess with him, he'll he'll try to fuck back with you by doing that. And then you get – it's just like, what the fuck, man? You get, get your heart racing off, and you're like, yeah. And then next thing he's like, sit your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. I was listening to their uh, – uh, on, R2, on Ruko's podcast with CeCe, how him and Boone are like these huge Bachelor fans, which I just had no idea about. And they're like – he, they were telling a story of how they would watch it on the iPads with a glass of wine on the bus, and they refused to get off until there was a commercial. I and mean, that's oh, just – I never would expect Harkey and Boone to, like, be those guys. But there, uh, I'm telling you right now, there's probably at least 10 guys that watch that show. And so staff and show. players. Staff and players. <laughs> rat them out. Oh, I'm ratting them out right now. I know it's Gre- Greeny is one okay. of them. Montgomery. I remember in spring, Mon- Montgomery and Greeny had, like, a – series finale like big like party Monty like set it up like made like a cheese spread meat spread I'm like oh, oh, no. guy, what are we doing here <laughs> I mean he's, he's funny though uh I know like you said like Hark watches it Booney I'm trying to like I know there's a bunch more I just can't even pinpoint them right now I, I could see Montgomery doing a nice little cheese spread <laughs> Picture of Montgomery and uh, Jack Green like sharing a glass of red wine and like oh my gosh. As they yeah. Oh out. yeah. And it was so it was uh, Greeny, his wife, and Monty. They all had like a little like thing. Watch the watch the series finale this spring. I was like, come on, guys, what are we doing? <laughs> this whole time, I'm trying to picture you explaining to DJ Lemayhu what The Bachelor is, and him just like not computing what any of that is because like <laughs> he cares about baseball. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he watches it with his wife. Okay. Fair Don't enough. Be yeah. He, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. What are your um, conversations like with DJ Mayhu usually? Because I feel like you're, like, so hyper and everything, and DJ's just so locked in, like, can't figure out anything but baseball. Like, do you ever just – do you try to mess with him sometimes? Uh, so, I uh, – yeah. So, I've known DJ for a while. So, like, uh, he's probably one of the few guys that I can – or I'm one of the few guys that can probably get more out of him than most people. So – I think it's pretty funny because he'll even come out of his way to talk to me about like shit, and it's pretty funny because he doesn't do that to most people. But he, uh, I can get him laughing and shit. He lo- he loves it because I'm pretty out of control. <laughs> so, but he loves to talk about like hockey. That's his thing. He loves hockey. I always mess with him with fantasy football and Madden, anything like gaming wise. So like stuff like that, he's really interested in. So you can get him going all the time with that, but. He is, for the most part, he'll be quiet. He gives you, like, little smirks and stuff when he kind of, like, finds it funny. But it's just uh, – that's just how he is. The, si- the silent assassin, man. Yeah, I mean, got to love it with, with what he brought to the table last year. Hopefully he can do it again this year. Um, so, obviously, the reason you're at home right now and no one's playing is this whole quarantine thing, and we're all doing our part here. And just recently, a few days ago, they came out with this proposed plan of basically a biodome in Arizona – and all these, all these rules, what are yeah. your early thoughts on that? Uh, so, I, I want to play. That's the one thing. I want to play. I don't care what, what happens. Like, I could care less. Basically, I just want to play baseball again. I'm stuck here doing nothing. So, I mean, but in terms of Arizona, I'm not a big fan of Arizona. So, 
I wish it was somewhere else. But I mean, if that's the last case resort we got to go to, I'm all game for it. Okay. But because it's it, like I've always told everybody, Arizona is not a pitcher's friendly place, especially those spring training sites. Those those places are wild. I mean, I would mind if we played in the dome, but it could get interesting if we play at all these outside places. Okay, so it's not it has nothing to do with Arizona, like the people or anything. It's just like the air and all the air quality yeah, and the ball flying. I'm just not a fan. Yeah, there's no grass or that, just no trees. It's it's uh, it's not <laughs> so, one of my spots. <laughs> That's why I come up here in upstate New York and I get away. It's great. (laughs) What do you think the weirdest part of the proposal is? The the strike zone, like electronic strike zone, the fast zone? Yeah, like all that stuff. Uh, You can't like sit next. Like how weird would it be for you? You're always like talking to everybody. You're going to have to be six feet apart from everyone in the stands. It's not going to be a dugout. (laughs) I thought about that. Like sit six feet apart. I'm I'm literally like just probably going to be yelling at people. (laughs) Yeah. Like six feet apart from people, just yelling at them. Yeah, like it could because there's gonna be nobody in the stands besides just us, so it's gonna be like, what the? F- this is fucking weird. I don't, I don't know. They won't even need to mic you guys up. You can just hear you in the background, like screaming, "Hey, Britt! Hey, Britt! You see that?" There is pimple? a good. Like, there yeah. is a good chance you're gonna be here in mid mid inning and shit like that. It's oh man, it's interesting. The electronic strike zone. I I don't know how that's gonna work, but yeah, because that's I, like to me, three or four years away from – like, they were just starting that in the Atlantic League where they're just testing it out, and now we're just going to throw that into the majors? Like, that could be absolutely yeah, it could, chaotic. I don't know. It could, I think it could be, yeah. I, uh, it just – the whole six-foot thing is – it's going to be interesting how they're going to do all this. Would you um, – now, I feel like pitchers might kind of like that there would be no more mound visits because you guys don't like getting bothered on the mound sometimes. Is <laughs> that be something that affects you? Uh, so the, I, I think, uh, it could affect some guys. Like, uh, I know I, I'm not a big fan of mound visits, but I mean, it does give you a breather every once in a while, especially if you've thrown like 15 to 20 pitches. And I'm out there gassed, like hoping just like, I need a break right now. Right. But I think it could, it could affect some guys for sure. And the guys that basically feed off what the, like, they need kind of some kind of feedback mid game maybe i know i know some guys are like that i i might not need that but it could i think that could be a problem if there are none you come off to me as someone who really loves like the, the feed off the energy of fans you saw it right away in the 2017 playoffs like th- those are some of my best like late at night go on youtube you go watch the tanaka canley game like you got you bailing everybody out and going fucking crazy on the <laughs> now. like and then so now we wouldn't have that it would be so busy. you'd be so, you get a huge strikeout the bases loaded to get everybody out and it'd just be like golf claps like like by your like teammates or whatever like yeah. i feel like I that would mess with you a little bit uh i mean to be honest it, it probably will a little bit just because i i do like to feed off the fans even though that could be a problem sometimes but like i get too jacked up sometimes and i don't make pitches but the energy is like a big thing when i'm pitching i love it and uh it could get weird if there's nobody in the stands and besides just your teammates yelling. I mean, it would just be like playing in college again for me, to be honest. Fair enough. I, was, it, I, I, was I mean, I had like 20 fans anyway, so it was like, who cares? Yeah. I was I, trying to think how yeah. a walk-off would work with like air <laughs> and shit. Like, yeah, air fives. Can't even go near each other. Nah, walk-off. We're good. It'd be kind of funny to watch, though. You're just going nuts when no one's doing anything. <laughs> there, there is a good chance I'll still be going nuts when there's yeah. nobody in the stands, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or, like, talking shit to the robot umpire or something. Just like. That's probably going to happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> competitions is, like, who gets the most foul balls, who catches the most home runs. Like, you'll have no competition of fans in the stands. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be so strange. <laughs> We're going to be – it's going to be us going to get the balls. That's what's going to be. Yeah. Like, pitchers. In college, that's what we had to do is, like, one guy was always designated to go get the foul yeah. balls. We foul ball guy. It was the worst. <laughs> yeah. It was usually the bitch of the team, but <laughs> – in high school, it was, it was, it was always the first. Out last. Whoever gets the out freshman. last, you're the guy. Yeah. Yeah, freshman. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, so God. brutal. Um, so, on, like, a plane, we always – we talk about, like, how DJ's so quiet. You always kind of see him in these pictures on planes, just sitting, like, with his head turned away from everybody, like, looking at film. What's your, like, activity on the plane? Like, are you literally just jumping around from, like, row to row, like – <laughs> bothering people I, I am I am the I am the loud one on the plane that's 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 definitely for sure I mean there is times where we take off and I'm trying to surf <laughs> 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 uh, 
I'll be in the middle of the aisle trying to surf or like <laughs> ski like the this I don't know what it is. Those. I feel like I'm talking to myself right now. This is all <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do a lot of dumb shit on the plane. So, uh, <laughs> oh man, I gotta keep it gotta keep it live though. Yeah. And I, I, sometimes I, I, there's always two guys that I try not to let sleep. It's our trainers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if I see them sleeping, I'll go over and like play with their hair, like flick their ear or something. They get up and they get all pissed at me. <laughs> that was my next question is like who is like the worst flyer who is there somebody who's like always like there's a little bit of turbulence he freaks out oh everyone it's great i'm the only everyone. one that I, I yell at everything i love it <laughs> we're going to uh, give you some of the worst though some of the worst is is out of you know is one okay so i always every time that happens i look and i go Otto, Otto, and he's like shut up <laughs> he hates it hates it but uh i think uh brick gets pretty freaked out with it and then uh, Greeny actually next to me. So, I'll, like, I'll hit him on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> they all freak out. It's great. I, like, guys, you're going to be fine. There was, <laughs> uh, there was a few, few people at work this year who were flying, flying private for the first time. Yeah. And one of the guys at work, he literally just sent them an article of, like, the amount of plane crashes there are, like, per <laughs> year. It's like, it's going to go fine. It was Big Cat to, like, Trent. And it was just like, why are you oh doing this? God. Like, I'm going to absolutely free. You just sat there the rest <laughs> of the day, like, staring straight ahead, like, oh, my God, this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm over. So, I oh, picture Adam Vito being kind of the same way with that. Which oh, is yeah. They, he freaks out, man. I, you should see their faces. Everybody's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, more, more. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> That's oh, um, That's about Adovino. I could see Adovino, like he's just so smart where he'd be like, well, statistically speaking, like we're very <laughs> unlikely to go down right now. <laughs> like That's more the like, one thing that gets him. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I agree with you. It's one thing he'd be like, come on, like what are the chances like you actually like go down here? Right. He's he's a uh, he's very intelligent. That's definitely one thing. That's fantastic. Um we always like to ask pitcher the pitchers this. Uh what is your go to move in a brawl? Like, if you feel it coming, what are you a glove thrower? Like, what's what's your move there? Got to be the spear, and then then ground and pound. Okay. Yeah. So you take Goldberg's, like the Roman route or something. Yeah, sort. it's the Goldberg spear, and then ground and pound. <laughs> <I love that. laughs> that's, that's fantastic. That's it's the like Roman. The, the Farns, it's the Farnsworth, basically. Or the Farnsworth, yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. That's awesome. Yeah, because you, I mean, you you were involved with that whole Tigers. That I was, I was it, actually, that I wasn't there sucked well no but you, you like you were in like you there were you th what you hit i more or less started it right that's what i mean like yeah. you were, yeah. <laughs> more or less. I, by I, that I, time i was already i was already up in the clubhouse it sucked but like yeah. everything everything accumulated by the time i was already gone oh that's yeah. brutal i didn't I like didn't me know. it was it was me warren and somebody else were already up upstairs like and we couldn't you can't go back out on the field or else it's like some crazy fine so i don't <laughs> Oh, yeah, and not. Joe. That's what it was. Me, Joe, and Warren. And Joe's like, "You're not going out there." He's like, "Stay." I was like, "Oh, all right." <laughs> were you like, "Were you?" I was, like, yeah, I was. I saw it on TV. I'm like, "I'm done." I started sprinting. Joe's like, "No." I was like, "Oh shit, all right." <laughs> that would have been really funny if everything was dying down, and then all of a sudden you come out like a bullet and it just <laughs> restarts everything again. Yeah, I probably should have done it. It would have been sick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe. Who knows? Maybe this year, next year, we get something else. There's a few things brewing here. But um, uh, something else, a funny draft story with you is where you were when you got drafted by the Yankees. You were on a Taco Bell drive-thru. Oh, yeah. That's, that's very true. So you just, like, <laughs> did you not expect it to happen then? or? Uh, I was just hungry. I mean, I, I, I was right up. So, like, I was at my, like, old <laughs> summer, summer team's place. So I was like, all right, I, I got drafted yet. So I was like, I'm, I'm starving. The time, like, I think it was like a little past lunch. I'm like, I need to go get food. So I, I went to Taco Bell. It's literally right up the street. I pull in the drive thru. Next thing I get this call, I'm looking at it like, eh, all right. Went, picked the cancer. They're like, oh, hey, what's up? Uh, what do you think about, uh, you know, whatever, taking this for this round? I was like, yeah, sure. I, yeah. <laughs> and then next thing you know, like, they call back. They're like, yeah, we just drafted you. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> it's like, okay, here we go. Literally, as I'm like trying to order the food, I'm like yeah. chowing down on, I don't even know what, Crunch Wrap Supreme or something. Out, like, can I get the uh, the double cheesy gordita crunch, please? <laughs> yeah, right. 
Sorry, man. Awesome. <laughs> Literally, like, trying to order, and then just got this call, the call out. I'm like, oh, this sucks right now. I got to figure this out. I'm starving. <laughs> Falls on that guy to tell you you're getting drafted. <laughs> What's your go-to yeah, Taco Bell order? Uh, let's see. I always get the Crunchwrap Supreme meal. Then you get the the, the crunchy taco, and that comes. You got to get the Baja Blast with it. That's a guarantee. Yes, yeah. no, no doubt. Then I always end up getting chicken chalupa supreme. People hate that. I don't know why nobody likes that. I think it's great. Then I always get the the chicken burrito, and then if I'm feeling good, I'll end up getting a another Crunchwrap Supreme. No okay. cheesy gordita crunch in there. I, I do like those, but it's every once in a while. But and, and I'll actually start and the uh, Doritos Locos Tacos. Yep. Jeez. Got to get that. I so, still can't believe that the cinnamon twists are just macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> I'm baffled every time that it's macaroni with just some cinnamon on it. <laughs> oh, I used to get the, what were those, caramel, what was their caramel apple thing that they used to have? Or I think they still do. It's They're unreal. Not- I used to get it all the time. <laughs> um, is this a... Like pre diet Tommy Canley, or is this a current can, uh, Canley order? Hmm. This is current. Like if I if I feel like I need to get some fast food, I'll go and get it. Okay. I'm gonna order that whole thing. I is don't that your go to fast food? Uh, no. I would say that it's got to be Chick Fil A. Okay. Yeah. Without a doubt, I can't help myself. I actually, to be honest, if I really want some, I'll go to McDonald's. I have no shame. I'm I'm Team McDonald's too. Yeah. Awesome Everybody ball. hates McDonald's. I think. It's- Play a fish. McDonald's. No, I get I everything. Right. People are down, like, putting a, yeah. da- a little bit of a down vote. Yeah. They're like, oh, it's so unhealthy. It's not good. I think McDonald's is awesome. Give me a Big Mac and some fucking yeah. nuggets. Like, like, I know it's not healthy. I don't care. That's the whole reason I'm going there. <laughs> it's fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason I'm going there. Try to be healthy. Die one day. McDonald's? Like, yeah. once you're out at McDonald's, you can't try to be healthy. Like, you can't, like no. if you're going to try to be healthy, don't go to McDonald's. Right. I don't know. I'm probably one of the few people in the world that actually eat a fillet of fish from McDonald's. I think they're fantastic. Wow, my mom. Fantastic. My yeah. Mom oh yeah. Oh, that's insane. That's insane. <laughs> Craziest thing you said by far so far. Wow, I'm with them. That's a good like Friday during Lent meal when I was a kid. Like I'd love to hit a fillet of fish for a. Well, I used to do a Long John Silver. That's the best. I don't know if I've, oh, I've never had that. Was with Nathan. Wow. It was always combined. You gotta try it. You gotta try it out. I don't even, it used to actually be Taco Bell and Long John Silver's together. That too, yeah. That was yeah. fire. It was unbelievable. <laughs> you can't find them. I'm telling you, they don't even exist anymore. Yeah, really. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen one in New Jersey. It used though, to be in my mall oh. in New York all the time. Oh. The last one I saw was in Scranton, PA, when I was there. It's the last one I saw. Huh. What a shame. <laughs> I should have went. I didn't even go. Yeah. I'm so mad. <laughs> no, I'm never gonna, I'm never going to see it again. Never. Yeah. Um, we talked about video games before, so there's obviously the very competitive Madden League um, oh, yeah. going on. At one point, you were just playing for people to beat the computer for them, so you could just get into the playoffs. Oh no, no, no! I was so I'm not playing for them. So like you in the as a commissioner, you can go in and you can sim them a W or you can send them a loss. So I was just if they if they play, I could see so I could see how many times they play. So like some guys were playing games like eight times. So I was like, guy, I'll just send me the win. You get the win, whatever. We'll get on to the next week. That way, everybody could make the playoffs, and it could be, like, kind of fun. So, the first season I did that, and we had five guys make it from the AFC because I didn't realize we had two guys in the AFC East, and we had two guys, or three guys in the AFC West. So, we had no AFC North team or no AFC South team. So, it was basically like, oh, you guys are shit out of luck. Sorry. <laughs> and it ended up being Voight that was the one that didn't get in. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, of course. And now he's going to be the one again that doesn't make the playoffs again this year. So we have—I'm on the second season now. Ah, uh, you guys yeah. ran back. Got it. Were you? Oh yeah, we definitely ran it back. I could see you being like, fear- "You lost to what Heller in the finals?" Yeah, unreal. I have the the Twitch of the game is on. Uh, it's on my channel. Ah, okay. Yeah. Might have to go back and listen to that. I could see you like being not talking to like your wife for like a full day after that. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. I, I didn't think it that bad. Okay. I was, it was, I had it all set up. You'll see how I lost. I, I basically fucked it up. I had the win. Had it. What's your go-to Madden strategy? Are you like somebody who are you going to, you know, punt on fourth down, kneel at the end of the game? Or are you just, you know, you're going to yeah. run the football to set up play action? Or are you just balls to the wall? 
Uh, definitely. So the first part for sure. I mean, if it's fourth down and you're in your own territory, you punt the ball. Let's. Uh, right. What are we doing here? This isn't. It's like we're playing like arcade rules or something. Love that. There's what. There's only like one guy that does that. Frazier, of course. <laughs> of course. Of so course. and then, uh, like if most of the time I'm pr- basically killing all these guys anyways. I just I, I won't even like I'll start running the ball and chewing clock in the third quarter, just to like keep the score down and let the game run. I try to like help them and stuff during the game and like tell them tips, but I uh, this season I actually played more of the guys, so it was it's been a bloodbath. Oh God! <laughs> yeah, D, so the game the two games DJ had before when he beat me by two, and then I beat him. The game where I beat him in the the NFC Championship game was crazy. I got out to a 29 to six lead and then I blew it and he came back and took the lead 30 to 29 with like two something left. I, I didn't convert. He got the ball back and uh, he decided to throw the ball twice. And the, the second time he threw it was third down. I picked him off, ran it back for a touchdown. Oh ended my up, God. <laughs> yeah. oh my God. And then went to the Super Bowl. That's how I played Heller in the Super Bowl. Jesus. Yeah. And he- same thing with Heller. Heller almost – Screwed it up in the AFC Championship game against King. He ended up uh, scoring with, like, shit, I think, like, 20 seconds left. Huh. King had him the whole game. God damn. Uh, so, wait, are you undefeated right now in the new season? No, I lost. So, the first week of the season, I lost a computer. I'm not going to lie. I was pretty drunk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was it's a bad game. It's like, whatever. Yeah, I, I just, it was bad. Like, I was just like, this sucks. And then the next loss was – uh. Basically, me and Holder couldn't play our game, so I told him I'll just straight sim it. Simmed it, and, of course, his team ends up winning. I'm just like, come on now. What, what is this? So I, have, I have two losses, but basically I have the, the third, the rubber match between me and DJ, I beat him 41-6. to six. Wow. Basically, I figured out his, how he plays now. He's done. It, he'll wow. never beat me again. <laughs> oh, God. How's he playing? Uh, I beat uh, – I've taken it softly on the last few guys. So I beat Judgey yesterday, thirty-four to seven. I beat uh, who was at before him? Uh, Wade. I think Wade was like forty-one to seven, or no, actually forty-eight fourteen. Somebody else. I beat Ford like forty-one to six. Oh my god! Like, I by the, those games though, I would like stop. I just stopped. It was like first quarter. I'm up twenty-eight nothing. I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna slow it down. <laughs> Heller, on the other hand, he's the guy that will try to run it down the throat. So he beat Tockman the other, like, a couple of days ago, 84 to 15, 14. I was like, I texted Ben. I'm like, God, come on. What are, what are we doing here? I could do the same thing if I wanted. It's that not that hard. Ruthless. Oh yeah, ruthless. God. Just completely ruthless. I couldn't believe it when, he, when I saw that. Now, these are – you're drafting these teams, right? So, like, what is your yeah, team? Already, uh, so, actually, this year I made a lot of changes, trades and stuff. So I uh, right now I have on defense I have on my defensive line it's Khalil Mack, Daniil Hunter, uh, Deshaun Hand is a superstar, and uh, Chris Jones. Jesus. Yes, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. And then and then at linebacker I have uh, Jalen Smith, uh, Drew Tranquil, and uh, so like we did the draft so I have a uh, Clavon Chason, the kid from LSU. Yeah. Yeah. So. Who's your? I run a three-four, so like Cleo Mack plays that outside linebacker. Got it. Yeah. And what's your like offense look like? Uh, so I had I eventually figured out how to trade for Wentz. I got Wentz. Uh, Voight traded me McCaffrey for like two first-round picks and something else. I don't even remember what it was, but right. Because Voight Voight just doesn't run the ball, so I was like, what's the point of even having? Him? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> so I got them, and I traded for Juju Cooks. I have Isabella, who's a superstar. And my tight end is uh, – I changed uh, Chase Claypool to a tight end. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, my offensive line's pretty good. I could probably spit it out, but I, I, I can't really – I think it's like Villanueva, Elgin Jenkins, Travis Frederick. How the fuck do you remember your whole team? Yeah, that's <laughs> crazy. I just remember – I just – I just – off like this. My, my secondary is gross, too. I mean, I got uh, – who is it? I traded for Justin Simmons. My okay. strong safety, I traded for Adrian Amos. My corners are Byron Jones, uh, Jeff Okuda, and uh, Avante Maddox plays the nickel. 
Jeez. I could have like a fantasy team of eight people, and I won't remember half of them. You were around <laughs> the whole fifty. Oh, I'll rip them. I'll probably I'll rip off the whole fifty-three man roster probably <laughs> if I could. <laughs> also, you're like Brian Cashman with some of these trades, like ripping people off. Oh yeah, I was somehow trading. I, I basically figured out like the cheat to trade, and I was telling all the other guys, and they were doing it. We were getting first round picks, trading them to other teams for like their star players. But I kept going after Gilmore and uh, Jalen Ramsey. Impossible. Can't get them. Huh. Physically <laughs> cannot get them. I tried a million different things. That's pretty crazy. But, yeah, I, I, I love how – I wish, like, the Madden League was more like – like, I, now that you have your Twitch stream, like, public, I'm sure people will be chiming in and, and watching that stuff. But Oh, yeah. People need sports these days. Like, I'm watching – Exactly, yeah. I'm watching, like, our boss is, like, opening packages. And it's awesome because he gets these <laughs> random things. And he's got, like, samurai swords and axes. And he got a gold oh, finger shit. today. But, like, that's sports to us right now. So, we yeah. kind of need – we might need to chime in on the Yankees Madden League and just have that be sports and set lines and just go from there because we got nothing oh, else sure. right now. It's tough. That's, I mean, that's what we were trying to do was uh, – Britt was trying to set up a whole, like, uh, Twitch thing with uh, – we were actually, like, talking to some – one of the gaming companies and it ended up falling through because Britt basically didn't think, like, these guys – I would say – I mean, he's right. There's probably, like, four or five of us that would probably ideally do what they wanted us to do. So, I mean, whatever. I'm going to do it on my own then. It's good. <laughs> Fair enough. We'll be, we'll definitely be looking into that. Um, just a few more things. We'll wrap up. You, we've had you. Thank you for your time and all of that. Um, but conspiracies. We always talk about conspiracies. Do you have a conspiracy theory, theory that you've, like, held on to that you always think about? Uh, Bigfoot. He's alive, man. That guy's real. 100% that guy is real. <laughs> are, are you, like, a hunter? No, I just think I, for some reason every time I would watch this, I'm like, yeah, this, guy, this thing's real. I don't know where it is. It's real. <laughs> Last summer, I was going away with some friends and one of my friends' girlfriends, and she was like bringing her friend, and they were like, hey, like there's just one thing you should know about her. Like, don't make fun of her. She's a little off. And I was like, okay, like what do you mean? And she's like, yeah, like she's a Bigfoot hunter. Like she like goes oh, to sh- Bigfoot conventions. Like. She has a Bigfoot podcast. With, like, what can you do on a Bigfoot podcast? Like, how much <laughs> Bigfoot news is there to be breaking down every day? Yeah. She sells Bigfoot merch. So, I don't, if you want to get in the Bigfoot game, like, I don't see where, where you start. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, like, I, I firmly believe, like, there's – there's in the aliens thing, like, the government's covered that up 100%. Yeah. Okay. I mean, they, they've already been here for who knows how long. I love that. I'm a oh, yeah. big fan of that. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like Denver. I try to watch all those like crazy documentaries on Netflix and stuff about it. I love it. Yeah, the whole uh, the whole Denver airport thing to me is just oh, hundred percent. It's, like, it's insane. Yeah, like, there's, there's too no... many facts for it to be a <laughs> conspiracy. Yeah. there's too yeah, many exactly. things going fall in the line. Right. Well, I, the biggest thing I've been thinking about lately. I remember I was watching some show and these people started fucking ripping off like seven different languages. How do you think we got mad languages? You think it was just people all started speaking English and then one guy hated got another person? He said, fuck you, I'm going to learn Spanish, and then it just ripped yeah. off from there? <laughs> Not even a conspiracy theory. The <laughs> this just came, from, just came from way out there, man. People were just giving us weird languages and stuff. Just, just throwing it all out there now. Love That's it. What I'm saying. I think someone just didn't like each other. Like, I'm going to learn my own language, so I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> um, what were you like in school? Were you just a problem child, like always in the principal's office? No, not really. I was really, really, really quiet, yeah. Huh. That is... Well, so if I didn't have any friends in the classroom, super quiet. Just fall asleep, didn't care, didn't pay attention. Okay. Yeah. And then if then my friends were in the class, I was out of control. <laughs> the, the teachers would have to tell me to shut up all the time. Yep. <laughs> that's pretty relatable yeah. but for the most part not really, really like quiet but then because uh, i hated school i never wanted to be there hated it yeah. so just wanted to leave go play sports outside go do something like sports related did you i uh, this is just bad research did you go to college yeah where'd you go to college i went to lynn university oh okay so yeah it's in, it's in boca you, yeah when you're there are you just like schools is why am i why am i doing this i just want to pitch <laughs> basically like so that the first semester i uh i basically didn't do so well and our school policy is like you have to have like two o as a freshman or you can't play yeah i had under that couldn't play they were pretty furious at me okay <laughs> oh. i was gonna i was gonna end up being one of the uh i think i was gonna be the midweek starter at the time but i mean whatever it ended up working out and i 
<laughs> shit, I started throwing like 95 that spring, and everybody was just like, holy shit, what happened? <laughs> the guy uh, get, couldn't get a 2.0, but he's throwing 95 in the summer. Yeah. They, had, they were just like, what the fuck? All right. Well, that was the day. first time I started lifting weights and stuff, so I was like, all right. Fair enough. Same, same kind of thing with me. Same exact thing with me. Didn't have a 2.0 in my first semester, so I couldn't rush in the second semester for a frat. So I didn't do a frat. So basically the same thing. <laughs> and I ended up yeah. <laughs> Wait, exactly yes. did you say 95 came out of nowhere? They, it's just like one day I was throw, they just finally had me throw live. My first live of the spring, wham, 95. And they were all like, they like checked the gun a few times. I didn't know. What? So like, when, once I came off the field, everybody was like, bro, you – you good, man? You right? I was like, yeah. They're like, you know how hard you're throwing? I was like, I don't know, 90? <laughs> and just, so is that what you did? Yeah, they were like, no, you hit 95 a few times. I was like, what? <laughs> All right. Out of ball. Good job. Yeah, sick. Where were you topping off before that? Uh, in the fall, I was just like topping out at like 91. Huh. I was 80. I would probably sit 89. Hmm. Like, that doesn't sound a lot to people, but 91 to 95 is insane. <laughs> yeah. Like, because the fall, that's, like, when we, like, really, like, started, like, working out and stuff. And, like, then I started – once I was uh, ruled ineligible, I basically just long-tossed the shit out of the ball and just kept lifting. And then by the time I got to my first live, it was – just popped out. I was like, oh, all right, we're good. Was that the first point where you were just like, okay, I can be in the big leagues? Like, this is this is real now? Uh, they, at that time, I was like, oh, I might be able to get drafted now, more or less. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. <laughs> See, he lives just like ah. Oh, if it happens, it happens. I guess maybe I could get on the Yankees. <laughs> yeah, I went. I went to school just to play baseball in Florida. I was like, ah, cool. Yeah, sick. Um, <laughs> <it> worked out. <laughs> See, you're coming from. Um, you came over from the White Sox, and you were the Rockies before that. First of all, <laughs> fuck the White Sox. I hate that team. <laughs> Can't stand the White Sox. They're the worst team in the MLB. They shouldn't. I honestly think they should be demoted to the minor leagues. Oh, man. <laughs> that's rough. <laughs> you just hate them because of White Sox, Dave. That's all. That's I just fucking hate the White Sox. <laughs> <laughs> um, but talk about, like, the – except like, I know coming over the Yankees, it seems like there's not really a big, like, oh, like, who is that guy, the outsider and all that. You just get kind of, like, accepted and welcomed in, no problem. Is, yeah. How different is that with the White Sox and Rockies, and how great was it with the Yankees? Uh, I mean, it's definitely different, like, being, like, accepted-wise. Like, I feel like the Yankees definitely – they do a great job with everybody, like, new that comes in. So, and then when I when I first was with the White Sox, like, my first spring, like, it, it was tough. Like, I didn't really know it. I didn't know what it, I think I knew, like, three people that from previous teams that I played with. Uh-huh. So, like, I would just talk to them most of the time. And then eventually, like, people do, like, warm up to you. But it, it takes a little bit. It's, it's – I would say a lot of the veterans are usually different from team to team. So it depends on that. But uh, it, it felt like as soon as I showed up in New York, they were like, yeah, all right, boom, let's go. They're ready to just, and then once they realized I was crazy, they really, they accepted it. They were like, whatever. <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're good at pitching, you get out. It don't really fucking matter what you do. <laughs> at, <laughs> yeah, at but I will say like the way I had a great time with Chicago, like the, those guys were great. And, uh, but I will say it was a little slower to get to know them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, it, but Overall, it was great. Like, it was great. I mean, we didn't do well. I mean, what are you going to do? But yeah. <laughs> we weren't very good. But I mean, I felt like we had a good, a lot of good players here and there, but I, some just didn't mesh well, I guess. Do you miss um, having, like, you have the beard right now. Uh, do you miss having, be, being able to wear the beard in the flow like you have with the Rockies? <laughs> so I miss the, miss the hair. Okay. But, uh, to be honest, the beard right now is just because I'm so lazy. I literally won't go and take it and just buzz it off. I don't know why. I even, I've been telling my wife every day. I'm like, I need to shave. Literally, I don't want this. <laughs> it's like I just, what I just don't care. Like I just don't feel like going upstairs and just buzzing it off. Whatever, who cares? It's itching. Like I hate it. It just. I have that with like my neck beard right now. I'm basically. Yeah, just, if I could just have like stubble, I guess would be fine. Whatever. Yeah. I really don't mind the shaving. Whatever. I shaved for a month. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. I like this goatee I've got rocking right here. Oh man, <laughs> that's so sad. I really feel like a man. I told myself I was gonna shower for this because I haven't showered and like there's just no point. I just don't leave my room like all day. I was like, you know yeah. what? We have to we have to interview today. We'll do that. Just didn't happen. No chance. 
Maybe we'll maybe it'll happen tomorrow. Who knows? There's been a couple. There's been a, probably a good gap where I haven't showered for a couple of days. Like I just don't care. There's no point. There's just no point. Um, we'll wrap it up with this, unless you guys have other questions. But who would be your um, favorite and least favorite person to be stuck in quarantine with right now? <laughs> uh, let's see. My favorite person's got to be Britt for sure. Is he your throwing partner too? No, actually, uh, it was Chad Green before, and then uh, Britt stole him from me last spring. Oh, he, he'll say he won't. He didn't, but they did. Stole wow. him from me. Wow. But, uh, and then, let's see, who uh, least uh, – trying to think. There's someone that, like, you walk over to them to try to mess with them, they just roll their eyes. They're like, not now. Not now. <laughs> I'm trying to – uh, it's gotta be one of the probably Fraser. Let's be real. It's <laughs> 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 annoying the shit out of me the whole time. <laughs> That's awesome. Adovino said DJ because like he just like he's miserable right now without baseball. So like oh yeah, like, I could I bet you I could figure out a way to keep him pretty like yeah. Uh, I you could might, figure it out. You might be able to save save DJ. Well, DJ probably needs you. Do you Facetime him? You should Facetime him after this and be like, hey man, like are you good? Is everything okay? <laughs> I got to get him on. So he said, he actually texted me. I think it was yesterday. He's like, finally downloaded COD for PlayStation 4. I was like, about time. Where have you been? <laughs> yeah. He plays too much Xbox. I'm like, dude, you got to stop. It's, it's PlayStation time. He's still watching film from like last year. He's like, yeah. all right, finally, I got past. We, we can move on at this point. <laughs> yeah, I think he is pretty miserable that, there's, that he can't go to the field anymore. But like, I, I got a video of him the other day where he's, he's on his rollerblades fucking doing hockey shit in his kitchen. Unbelievable. <laughs> Yeah, his his wife uh, said so. Like that, all the wives they have like their Snapchat. They do it all day, and uh, yeah, they he his wife sent uh, Veronica, my wife, the one the one day <laughs> I see him just rollerblading, doing just dangling and shit in the. the oh kitchen. yeah, that made its way to social media. You oh, yeah, yeah, you don't have social yeah. media, you wouldn't know. But like it actually, yeah, he was just yeah, ripping so shots. Put it like, out there. Yeah, yeah he, was, he was ripping <laughs> shots in his kitchen. And we're like, oh yeah, Holy shit, like he's really really bored at this point. <laughs> like that's stuff I would do with him, to be honest. In I don't know. We can figure it out. Yeah, might have to. I've actually I went to DJ's uh like his family friend's place one time after uh we got in from a flight we went over there and uh, this guy this house was crazy like there was bat like multiple basketball hoops tennis courts next thing you know like there's like this court like where you can play rollerblade hockey and I'm like well, we're doing that right now literally I went out there and I started just ripping shots with him and stuff it was great. <laughs> we were playing like a five on five like <laughs> fucking tennis ball hockey game. It was unbelievable. You guys come back here just Wait, dripping sweat. Oh yes. What the just hell is going on? Sweat. Dripping sweat. That's incredible. Um do you guys have anything else to ask Tommy? I'll just say maybe DJ is human after all. We like basically every every episode or every time we interview someone, we ask about you. We basically ask every single person about you for like a year and a half or like what's your crazy family <laughs> story. And then we're like, is DJ Mayhew a human being? So we basically got, you know, we finally cracked <laughs> yeah. on this episode. They yeah, cracked two codes, killed two birds and one stone. There yeah. it is. <laughs> Not bad. Um, but Tommy, we really appreciate you taking the time. To come out here. Hopefully, you get to see you on the mound in, in uh, Arizona. I know you maybe you don't like. Uh, <laughs> you know, hopefully, the ball stays. In the park <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm hoping. The ball stays down. Oh man, 100. Yeah, percent Appreciate yeah. you coming on. What you talking? But, or you can just fly and catch the fly balls. If you get <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you, I would love that. Just develop the oh, power. Yeah. But, uh, but we really appreciate, you, really appreciate you coming on, uh, taking the time. This was awesome. And uh, we'll see you out there in the season. Yeah, cool. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Thanks, appreciate it. Yeah. See you guys.